plate. I did some stuff off stream. Handful of quests, basically every mini quest that I could except for one. Well, no, except for two. I'm halfway done, I'm over halfway done with it. And I found this coastal shell. I did the one that unlocked Saints Row. Hi, boy, how are you? What are my tags? Do I not have tags? Everything's in order. I was double checking that my tags were still correct, and they are. Because I haven't looked at them in like a year. <sighs> okay. I need to get five more things of bone meal so that I can turn in this one quest. tier 3, then I'm good. Yeah, I learned that the angry skeletons in here are fucking stupid strong. I'm surprised that this area in here is such a high level area. Maybe I just need to repair my gear. <clears throat> but the angry skeletons in here are really fucking rough. Another bone meal, that's eight of the twelve. I don't want to die in here, because that's a very avoidable death. Anyway. Don't you fucking dare come out of the goddamn graveyard. Fucking out. Yeah, if I'm taking that much damage from these angry skeletons, it makes me afraid to try and do time lost. Also, Skelomancer? I know that he's not that strong. Rotting bone is garbage. Cowling clay is garbage. Blighted brain is also garbage. Cool. <clears throat> I've killed that guy twice now, and every time that I've killed him, he's dropped garbage. Health regen and health. That's a 
fucking insane. Probably get those from killing boars. If I would have to guess. If I don't play my cards right, I could fucking die here. These guys are well below my level. I just need four more bone meal. It's such a cunt to get them. Roaming skeletons, the one these skeletons, they don't drop it. They can't drop it as far as I'm aware. <clears throat> the angry skeletons in here, however, can. Which kinda fucking sucks. Because the angry skeletons are annoying. more. Doing pretty well. See, off stream I stopped doing this because I thought that I might die if I got if I got too cocky or just got cut off by angry skeletons in there. So I stopped. Yeah, my plan today was going to be finish up all these mini quests and a bunch of shit off stream and then get on stream and do all the secret shit again. That was the plan, but I didn't finish this, so we're doing these few mini quests instead. It's already fuck me. One more. Lots of undead.
next thing. The lowest level was gather oats two and then slay scarabs. Gather oat two was the one that I was gonna go do. It's down in turn maves. Cause it's literally free. <laughs> Off stream after I'm done with this one, I'll be uh, grinding jeweling. Grinding materials for jeweling and grinding jeweling. And then maybe also uh, food. one coins aren't worth it. I want to keep the gunpowder for when I'm grinding fucking scribing and alchemy. Okay, so we need 24 oat string. Not repaired like any of my shit in a while. I did find today, earlier, that there is a better place to grind barley than where I was grinding. I was grinding over in Maltic, but you can grind here in Time Valley, and it's like just infinitely better. Eleven, twelve. <laughs> I like how I got a fucking tier three. It doesn't even matter. Thirteen. It doesn't matter because, like, my next bow is gonna be made out of fucking whatever the fuck's after malt. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Ah, uh, truffles could also come from these guys, couldn't it? I guess. Eighteen. Oats 2, done. 
damage and defense it's a single one for jeweling it's not worth keeping because I wouldn't even use it okay content book the next one is slay scarabs for a bunch of XP it's not even that much XP but still okay I'll, I'll go see about it Sandstone 2, gather iron, spruce, hops, hops 2. Yeah, hops is what we're doing. Hops and fucking spruce. But first things first, we need to do things right and get sandstone armor. Which sounds like the worst possible fucking armor you could make. But it'll be like leagues above what I have right now. Identify. Toe is warmth. Plus 47% health regen, 26 health, 7.7% soul point regen, minus 31 spell damage and 24 main attack damage, plus 185 health and 15 fire defense. That'd not be bad if I could use it. The amount of health regen makes up for the lack of damage. We are very fast. We're running out of scrap very fast, but we are about to get a very big influx of scrap. Like, not too fucking far from now. Because tomorrow we're going to be grabbing, grinding a bunch of sandstone and acacia and other bullshit. I have learned that these guys hurt. They don't hurt as much as the guys over in the crypt that we were at. I know that much. But they do hurt a good bit. Refuse to let that even fucking exist. It's not fucking allowed to exist. Mm, 
I'd love to hit level 50. Because my thought process is at level 50, I'd be able to probably get plenty of health regen on my armor. So aren't with a lot of XP. Fifty and forty. I just want to consolidate it a little more. It is rather annoying when it takes up multiple slots when it just doesn't have to. halfway. Nine. I could just go down and I am scared that there's going to be a Sandswept Tomb Key Guardian in there, and I'll just get fucking destroyed. This gives defense and durability, but gives you a defense minimum. That's probably fine. I need soft sand for another quest, don't I?
Ooh, that works. I want that then. What level do I need to use the Shine Stone Scorpion? Tail? 37. That gives you a 15 dex min? But I was already planning on fucking dumping dex, so... That'll be fine. Yeah, I've already dumped dex. <laughs> Better leap, reduce leap's cooldown by one second. Oh, so fucking much better. It feels so much better. Unbelievable. Dry Bone is actually pretty good. Just straight up durability. It's not that good, but it is not bad. 13, and I see another one over here. That's 14, 15. One more. Never mind, it's done. Profession speed bomb. Fuck, of course. I've already done that. Five thousand XP. Yeah, doing the desert secrets is fucking good XP. As compared to the awful XP for everything else. Do 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 ba da da ba. Uh... 
Hopefully I can hit level fucking 40 plus today. I mean, I'll definitely hit level 40, like one. Or I'm hoping for like level 47. This is gonna be annoying. I'm gonna have to fucking go to the hub world or even re log. They just gave me combat XP. They just gave me combat XP. I need to do to use this. It'd be such a fucking if I did. Where's the curse? Cause he's the one that I'm scared of over here. If there's anyone to be scared of by this little pyramid, it's the curse. Oh, the rat man respawned immediately. That's that's kind of fucked. Bum bum. Maybe I was just unlucky with the timing of when I killed him.
Oh my god, it's fucking terrifying to be below half health. This is why you have guardian angels on. To protect you from your own stupid mistakes. There's the curse. The curse is the best XP up there, but like... It's also the fucking curse. Which can teleport around and do a bunch of bullshit. God. See, I told you the curse is the best XP. Uh, scared. <laughs> I'm fucking. T I, I, he's still so scary. He is weak to water and air, and I. And he has higher defense against the one element that I am using right now. Sandswept Tomb Key Guardian. The most terrifying enemy of the desert. Oh my god. Rare fucking enemies that spawn once in a fucking blue moon are less scary than him. Ow. I don't know what this guy is. He's scary, though, because he has- he does the thing. You know, the thing. Where it's like he's about to do a move that could potentially one-shot me. That thing. Yeah, fucking scary. The curse isn't that bad. I feel like if he would have hit me though, I probably would have died. Which is awful, but... Don't see the guy. I don't see the guy, which I, I think is scarier than seeing him. Yeah, not fucking knowing. curse just about fucking killed me.
here comes the curse again. He's dead. 4,000 XP. I don't know how much he's actually dropping himself. But I know that he's worth killing. The curse. Curse is dead. This is really sketchy and I should not be doing this. But fuck. XP though. Actually, are we still getting double XP? We are. second that we no longer have it and someone doesn't pop a second one we're leaving and doing more fucking bullshit for xp I wish I had VIP specifically just so that I could change the music because it gets really annoying after listening to the same fucking song for fucking an hour or two. Right now there's a double combat XP boost going on for like the next six minutes so we're grinding XP in a very sketchy place where I could die. But the XP is plentiful, so it's worth it. We're trying to see if the curse is going to spawn again. I don't know what the conditions to get the curse to spawn is, but the curse could, could like two or three shot me. And he's, he gives a bunch of XP. These guys are giving fucking 500, 3 to 500 per kill. It's insane. We had to leave a little bit for a little bit because the Sandswept Tomb Key Guardian showed up. And uh, he's someone that I still don't want to fuck with because he's even worse than the curse. Because he's the curse, but he's ranged and shoots faster. Ah! 
Oh, that's bad. What I just released from that sandy fucking thing is really bad, actually. We want those guys dead. Because they're going to actually be a fucking issue. I've never gotten close enough to this pyramid on any account to know what the fuck happens if you get too close. Because there's a bunch of strong enemies here. All the betrayers are decently strong. It's got four ranged guys perched on top, and then the curse can fucking teleport around and use magic and like deals triple the damage of anything else around here. It just doesn't seem like a good idea to get close to it. Sandswept Tomb Key Guardian. You saw that guy, right? I wanted to go for the Relic Guard, but there's a Sandswept Tomb Key Guardian over there. Is he still over there? I'm willing to bet he is. There he is. We want that guy, specifically. Because he's the best XP that I can get right now. There he is. 1,000 XP. I believe I just got 1,000 XP for a single kill. <laughs> Double combat XP is a fucking joke. as long as I don't get too careless, I can come to this area, which is very dangerous, and get a bunch of XP pretty fast. But this is definitely only happening during double combat XP. There's a bunch of profession speed and XP and combat XP bombs going off on this server right now. If I can kill the Sandswept Tomb Key Guardian, it will make my life so much easier. Killed the Sandswept Tomb Key Guardian. I am victorious against my enemy. <laughs> the fucking biggest threat. That's a Speedy Scarab, and I want it dead. 500. Okay, Speedy Scarabs are worth killing. Good to know. That yeah, just gave me 500 XP for killing a single Scarab. If I had lightning damage, if I had a a single upgrade to my bow, and then had two lightning tier 4 powders on it, I'd be dealing so much more damage. I'd be dealing like infinitely more damage. Uh, double combat XP is about to run. And 
that's the end of the double combat XP. He hasn't repopped one, even though it just ended. <laughs> Plus, my gear is breaking, which means that I'm going to do less damage and have less health. More dex. Sarah, how goes your, um, how goes your stuff, your agility? Can't do anything yet. We need one more combat point to, sorry, one more ability point. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they're repopping. Hopefully, we should be able to get high enough level today to get Fierce Stomp, which should be pretty nice. Thank you, Short Bake from RuneScape, thinking about starting a mod pack. I've been thinking about making a new mod for Minecraft recently. I want a better quality of life mod than what fucking the FTB team has made. FTB has made an all the ores mod, but it doesn't include all the ores, nor does it actively do like anything that I want it to do. I've been doing uh, pixel art in Minecraft again recently where I've been, uh, I've been doing one Pokemon evolution line a day for a week now, off stream. At some point I might start doing it on stream because, well, at some point they're going to stop being 56 by 56 and end up being 200 by 200, and it's going to be really annoying. Next one. The next one's over here. A lot of people do like the same old, same old bullshit for pixel art of like the, of, for like Charmander. And it's always based on like it's Gen 4 or 5 fucking sprite. The Charmander that I built and the Charizard and Charmeleon, all that, all my Gen 1 shit so far has been uh, Pokemon Green sprites based off of that. Because, yeah. Of course.
not going to be able to complete all the secrets today because one of them requires me to go kill the cockatrice and I'm not confident enough in my ability yet to kill the cockatrice. It might be good enough equipped. If I could get VIP plus, I would get, uh, I'd be able to use the jukebox, play and create playlists of all currently available fucking Windcraft songs. That's what I want. to the invaded barracks. It's kind of scary. I've never actually been there. I mean, I was there on the Paladin, but I also didn't really fight anything over there. Also, this marker is dead. It literally does nothing, because I've already turned it in that quest, and I can't get rid of it. I'm gonna have to leave and rejoin the world. I don't want to leave the world when people are throwing bombs all the time, but I am not using them, so... vanilla plus mod packs that have building elements. You could do one of the like billion create mod packs that exist and then you'd be able to build basically fucking anything and you'd have create. I personally like uh, the who the biomes you're, you'll go blocks. Pretty nice. Ancient sword. Here we go. Temple of the Swords is done. I could do Rhymex Thief. Wrecking Ball would be hard. Totem Pole isn't that hard, but it could actually get me killed now that I'm thinking about it. The only one that I can do for sure is Rhymex Thief.
If I'm gonna do Rymex Thief, I'm gonna do it the safe way. Well, not do it. I'm gonna get to it the safe way. Because there's multiple ways that I could get to Rymex Thief. Multiple ways to get to Rymex. I could go through the desert into the Mesa, or I could go through the abandoned mines and out this area at the bottom, right next to Rymex. That's much safer. Less chance of me getting yeeted into the sky and almost killed. to water, earth, and spell damage, minus to fire and thunder, and then plus to main attack damage, and then minus to air and thunder defense, plus to earth and water defense, and then a fuck ton of health. It wouldn't be that good, but it would be better than what I have, because everything that's an identified item is better than what I have if it's legendary. At least until I start making good shit, which will probably be around uh, the iron level, spruce slash iron. I assume that by spruce slash iron level, I will be able to get most things that I want, on most stats that I want on my gear. Hi Cryptic, how are you? I'm fine. We got a few levels already. We've we've gone up four levels since I started stream. I was level 38, I believe. I could be wrong. Maybe I was level 39, but I believe I was level 38 at the start of stream. I believe I need nine more ability points and then I've basically got everything that I want for my build. Anything past that is just extra. Anyway, yeah, this is where I was going to planning on grinding iron for armor later. This is the only place that I know to grab. do craftsman it's really annoying especially when you're playing hardcore on top of it and iron man losing fucking basically everything you have Yeah, 
There's no point in me trying to fight these guys. That would just fucking get me killed. Instead, just do this like normal. Lose these seven emeralds and get 5,000 XP. that done. Another 5,000 XP. Totem pole would be, would, could potentially get me killed. Wrecking ball requires me to do the quest to kill the fucking... Let me see how hard the quest is. Content book. The water potion. Uh, do it by nearest distance. Canyon Condor unlocks Upper Mesa. This is the quest that I would need to do. Hard quest, 21,000 XP. <sighs> Canyon Condor, you have to kill the cockatrice, which could potentially be a bitch to do. And on hardcore with craftsmen and all that shit. I'm gonna attempt to do it. There is the potential that I get one shot. Which if so, then I then I'm gonna delete this character and start over again. Which is gonna be very, very, very annoying. Well, I also need this uh, quest done to grind out acacia, because the single best spot to grind acacia is literally right there, which is on top of the mesa, which you need to do this quest to get access to. Now, here's the hard part. This is the only part that I think that I might die at. The the actual killing of the fucking thing. The actual killing of the, um, uh, cockatrice is not hard, because I can just cheese the fuck out of it. Make gas noises at me. Boom. Five gold chunks. Agility and loot bonus. I want this. I always want that. Seems like it's always in this chest. Shitty XP for the actual doing of this cave, but meh. The greedy guy didn't run you across the bridge. I'm literally not even tapped into the game. Now, because I had to take care of uh, Discord stuff. Anyway. No, oh, no, Dead Cowboy is fucking bad. Thank you for the follow, Cryptic. God damn it. Dead Cowboy is not that bad, okay. They are bad. They are not as bad as I was believing they were going to be. The Sandswept Tomb Key Guardian is far 
Far, far, far worse. Actually, no, am I stupid? No, I can do totem pole. Totem pole's easy. I was thinking of the actual quest to get the totems back between the two tribes. That one could potentially get me killed. Totem pole is, is free. Anyway, Hermit literally asks you to go get him this flower up here. You get him the flower, he lets you cross the bridge. Which basically, I believe, gives you access. You don't technically need to kill the thing, I believe. Because you get access halfway through the quest, not from actually killing the cockatrice. Across the bridge. Now I believe we will have access to the upper area. I don't think we need to kill the cockatrice, but I believe I can pretty easily. And then I'll get XP and shit for completing the quest. Level 38, Chicken Beast. Condor Minion, Condor Minion. The Cockatrice. Cockatrice is here now. Cockatrice is dead. We grab the egg. And then we take this elevator down. And with the elevator down, we now turn in the quest, and that's that. Quest done. I did it, and I was about to have a fucking heart attack when the cockatrice came toward me.
Ratio. Oh my god. This fucking. This would be fucking stupid if I could wear it. Cryptic, you said that you've hit level 105. I have a question. What the fuck are quirky and augments? I mean. They probably don't matter to me since I wouldn't be able to use them, but still, I want to know what they are. Let's go do Wrecking Ball. Yeah, if I do Wrecking Ball and then do Totem Pole, I can actually finish the desert. This is Wrecking Ball. There's ins there's insultators, amplifiers, and simulators. What do they do? Also, I need to pee. Is that how it's a prospector game? Fires increase rolls of each identification by 5, 10, or 15 percent depending on what level you use. Insultators preserve one stat when, re re when re rolling an item. Fuck, I can't speak. And simulators prevent the re roll counter on items from going up, keeping the re roll costs the same. So it's all stuff for. It is all stuff for re roll. So it's all useless to me. How the fuck do you get them, though? We go up now, and now we are here, which I believe that there's no enemies up here, but just in case, I'm going to sit on this building while I go use the restroom. Insultators are mythical rarity from loot runs, and empires are from raids. Ah, so they're like real high level shit. Alright, I'll be right back, I'll be like a minute at most.
if max level is 106, then why, um, then why is, like, the max leveled area 110? God, the tumbleweed fell off. Also, it's very annoying that the... It's very annoying that the fucking slaying quests, mini quests, can't actually track kills, which I believe that they could if they wanted to. It's just annoying that they don't, and you have to get drops from them. This is where we wanted to go, right here. This is where I'm gonna grind Acacia. No enemies, a bunch of trees. It's gonna be fucking great. Anyway. I can get 3,000 XP from doing Totem Pole real quick, and then go do Desert Royal Residence for another 10k XP pretty easily. Um, I believe that I can just go to the Owl Village right now and grab the eye. If I remember where it is. There it is. Wooden eye. ba do do ba do 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 V and I hit X. I keep doing that. I keep positioning my fucking fingers on the wrong buttons.
Okay, we talked to this guy because I don't know if it would have let me place it without having talked to him before. So just in case I do that. I gotta sit through this bullshit. That was 4,500 XP. That's weird. The wiki has it wrong. I didn't even look at how to do these. I just looked at the names because I couldn't remember what all of them were. And from seeing the names, I figured out what they were. Since that they were pretty fresh in my memory. Since it was, like, the last thing I did on the Paladin before I died. to Almush. Seven. About halfway done with that quest. Next level up, I can grab the next skill on the way. There we go, 10,000 XP towards the 63 and a half thousand that we need to level up. I will... will I do that off stream? I don't know if I will. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. More decks. That's what I'm gonna fucking do. Next level up is when we get for a storm. So two, three, four, five, six, seven for one way up at the top, eight, nine. All this just to get homing shots shots are kind of cracked. I am curious, are there more than triple shot anywhere on here? Better guardian angels. Escape artist, yeah I want both of those as well. Recycling, that's good too. Shrapnel bomb, cheaper escape, cheaper arrow. I can't actually get can't get cheaper arrow, st arrow storm. 
because I would need to either be a trapper or a sharpshooter. It's literally locked out. So many quests that I've just skipped over. I need to go do all these secrets as well. Bear Zoo is a world discovery. Drop on it. Mm -hmm. Gets into Levengar. <laughs> Half Moon Island. Easy. No. That is the biggest lie I've seen in the game so far. Saying that Half Moon Island is easy. It's completely full like level 40 plus enemies and it's got I believe one two three four five and it has five elite enemies that can just like destroy your fucking health they almost killed my fucking pallet while I was there multiple times because uh, not because if, if they can almost kill my paladin when he was at, like, level fucking 47, then, yeah. I don't think I have a shot right now. Anyway, we're at level 43. My paladin was at level 43 when they died. We are now the same level as my paladin. We have officially caught up. The only thing my paladin had that was better was one set up in gear. That's it. <coughs> I've completed 96 out of 117 level 1 to 15 quests. Recommended combat level 20. I don't fucking think so. It's a fucking boss. <laughs> level 25 for that one. start all of these fucking quests. Welcome back. I was thinking about whether I should end stream or not because I've gotten everything I wanted done, done. And I don't know what to do. Because the next logical step is to start grinding sandstone and stuff for a new set of gear. Because right now my gear is made of gold and willow. Getting the next step up would be the obvious choice. But if I can level up to level 49, I could technically skip 
sandstone entirely. I'm trying to be more careful than I was when I died on my pallet. I mean, I was careful on my pallet and for some reason, I only died because my fucking charge never came out. If that charge came out, oh, that's, that's actually really nice. If that charge would have come out, I would still be playing my pallet and I'd be like level 70 right now. Sandstone one is in the invaded barracks. That one is like easiest hardcore ultimate Iron Man craftsman purely because the tree gives you so much defense. My paladin, I deleted it when it died because, yes, of course I fucking did. They were the same level as I am now, and I was trying to get to level 44 so that I could equip the new weapon that I had made them. There is one thing that I do want to say. I was looking at this a second ago, the content book, and it was saying right uh, somewhere over here. No, it's down here. No, where the fuck is it? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I can just fucking tell you what's what called. Oh, that the paladin abilities. I don't fucking remember. It's been a, it's been like a week now. Anyway, the game is a liar. The content book says that Half Moon Island is a short, easy cave at level, I believe it said 25 or 30, which is like the biggest lie. Half Moon Island is a fucking massive island. It's got three chests on it. And I believe five elite fucking monsters. It's pretty fast if you know what you're doing, but it's not easy. <laughs> it is not easy. Saying that Half Moon Island is easy is like saying, ah, oh, just go to Durham Isles and do the fucking boss in the bovine barn. It's easy. It's not. The game is just a liar. <laughs> I swear the fuck I saw it.
Oh, I, I know why I didn't fucking find it. It's because I'm stupid. Yeah, here it is. Half Moon Island. Recommended combat level 37. Length long. Difficulty easy. It's for tier 3 plus chess, thinking you can up one when you climb up the tower for seven years. You have a tier 3 chest, a tier 4 chest, and another tier 4 chest, and a bunch of tier 2s around the island. The issue is that all the enemies on the island either teleport or are ranged, and the elite enemies that are at each of these chests No shit, but I'm saying that they exist. The elite enemies that guard those those chests, though, that you have to kill to access those chests. The tier 4 ones. Because there's more than just the two. There is five, I believe, elite enemies on that island. If you fully clear it. Those guys shoot pretty fucking fast. They hit really fucking hard. If I went there right the fuck now, I would die at level 43 with this gear. Even if I got, like, two gear upgrades and still and then went, I'm pretty sure that I would die. I should do this cave, Troll Tower. Troll Tower seems stupid. Where is Troll Tower on here? There it is, Troll Tower. Level 30, easy. Troll Tower, I believe, would be easy. I want XP. I need... I need 51,500 XP. Moon Isle would give me what's my highest level class? A shaman that I played to unlock Iron Man level 50. I literally started the game, got to level 50 as fast as I could, and then made uh, my paladin. Died on the paladin, made a new paladin, died with that paladin because I was annoyed at the death of the previous paladin, made a mage, fucking deleted it because I didn't like mage, and I forgot to make it fucking ultimate Iron Man somehow, and then made this character. And that's where we are now. Half Moon Island is very, very tempting with 20,000 XP as a reward. Some of these fucking quests across the ocean are fucking cracked for XP. 23,000 XP, 20,000 XP. That's fucking stupid. This would be fucking cracked. I believe that if I could do Tower of Ascension, which I know I could not, I've been to Tower of Ascension, I saw it, I, I, I won't do a Tower of Ascension until I'm like level 105, 106, right? But holy fuck, if a million XP isn't very, very tempting.
there's a bunch of quests that I can do right now. I still haven't done Maltics well because I'm scared of the fucking witch. Because the witch is ranged and shoots pretty fast. Trust me, no amount of XP, even if it's in the even if it's in the Decillions, would come close to the amount of X XP that I need to level up one more time in a different MMO that I play. Tribal Aggression's an easy XP, holy fuck. Black Desert Online. Black Desert Online. Each level requires double the XP that the previous level required, right? And it makes, and every time that you level, the enemies that you were just grinding give you like a fifth or less the XP that you were getting the previous level. It's just exponential stupidity. Tribal aggression is really easy XP. We're gonna do that. Win dungeons. Easy for you to say. Black Desert Online is is literally like the stupidest thing when it comes to leveling or wanting to grind specific things. you say it would take you to grind out level 106 from level 105. Because in Black Desert Online, people have been grinding in the most efficient way for five years straight and haven't leveled up. It gets that stupid. Couple hundred hours is fucking nothing. Even if it was all, even if it was a thousand hours, that's still fucking nothing. Fuck. Keep hitting X when I mean to hit V. That's why you want agility right there. that I am a little stupid because I could just have gone and grabbed the eagle totem from the owl camp while I was at the owl camp and then just gone to the eagle camp given it talked to him he would have told me to go get it I'd give it to him and then come back to the owl camp after getting the owl totem
I can obliterate these guys. What the fuck just happened? Tribe done. Eagle Tribe is both easier and harder. Ah, uh, that happened to me twice here in the Mesa. I took an elevator down and then immediately got launched 400 blocks into the sky twice on my shaman when I was grinding out level 50 so that I could start this character, so that I could start a hardcore. get why there's a totem guardian for this totem. I mean, I understand, but I believe that it should personally be deactivated or some bullshit because we are given direct permission to get this totem by the fucking tribe leader. Unlike with the other totem. it's not as bad as a nine-year-old bug almost fucking completely ruining your goddamn hardcore world in vanilla Minecraft. Cough, cough. That happened to me. There's a bug since 114 came out. It's been around. And it's a important bug. It's high on Mojang's priority list and has been for fucking nine years. What does the bug do? It makes the dragon immune to all melee hits. It's been around for nine years. And it's still not Fixed. You know how fucking annoying that is. That one's free XP. Why don't you have a bracelet or a necklace? Because I haven't made one yet. <laughs> oh, 
I'm gonna be grinding jeweling off stream because my jeweling's pretty low level right now, and uh, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Here, I'll show you what my jeweling level is in a second. These are made from, I believe, yeah, these are literally made out of the very first materials. They're that old. Combat level three and six. Profession info. I am level 27 fishing and level 20 jeweling. Everything else is basically level 40. I also need to level up my cooking. Go talk to Nick. Nick Crimbless time. Crumblor. <laughs> Bang. Moldy apple. Time to kill a bunch of homeless people. Obviously, that's that's exactly what you do in this situation. They're turning into zombies somehow. Zombie pigmen, even. Fucking weird. Why are you coming from that direction? You could have just come through the cave with me. Bang. I need to repair my shit again. Anyway. God damn it. I'm good at parkour. Time to steal from the rich. <laughs> 
Tamed Weibel. Well, you fucking... Okay. Talk to the goddamn server, for fuck's sake. to enter the ballroom yet. I had to talk to Nick, didn't I? Oh, that, yeah. There we go. See, I forgot to do one step. Time for the annoying, most annoying monologue in the game thus far. for even more spam shifting. I wish that I wish that I could just click through the text. Anyway, easy 15,000 XP. There we go. We're, what, 7,000 XP away? Wayward Vagabond. Uh, bang. Fuck you. Alright. Next, what could I do? There doesn't seem to be anything that's Z left. That gives a bunch of XP, everything's like really low or really hard. I want to hit level 44, because if I hit level 44, I can end stream fucking happy, because I'll be a higher level than my paladin ever was. How much XP would I get from all this? Fuck all. I get, a, I get enough from slaying coyotes, so let's go do that. Slaying coyote one is actually not that bad. That's what we're going to do. We're going to finish this mini quest, get the XP that I want, and after I get the XP that I fucking want, I'm going to end stream, and next stream, I'm going to fucking uh, grind for sandstone gear.
I like doing longer streams, but I also like that I'm doing shorter streams right now because uh, it means that I'm getting done exactly what I want done every stream and not being able to figure out what the fuck to do. I mean, I am kind of figuring out what the fuck I want to do because I know what I'm wanting to do next stream. The thing is, I just don't want to do it this stream because it's going to be annoying. Halfway done with the coyote teeth. Six more. Good bit of sandstone up here. In fact, I might be able to grind out all the materials that I need for my new armor within the mesa. I don't know if I can grind malt in the mesa. If I can, I don't know where. is over there. Sunrise can't. That's a boss. Bosses wait until I'm at max level. <laughs> should lay down keep playing instead but I'd rather get up and go walk but 14 that's enough that I'm comfortable going down and killing them on the floor down there cryptic I have a question for you you say all movement spells bar teleport. Basically neglect fall damage, right? I was gonna ask if uh God. They're not strong, but they are strong. I forgot what I was going to ask because the coyotes were being a bitch. That's a higher level relic guardian than normal. That's a little scary.
451 XP. Relic Guardians are so fucking good for XP. At least at the moment. They'll be fucking garbage for XP by the time that I hit level 50. Because there'll be a billion things that are better. Jack fell from up, way up above. Forty-four character info ability tree. Scroll up two pages. Fierce stomp. When using escape hold shift to quickly drop down and deal damage. Next, we get cheaper arrow shield. Then we get better arrow shield. Then we get shocking bomb. Then we go up and get water mastery. And then we come back down and we get homing shots. The, yeah, homing shots are not bolt slinger. They are sharpshooter, which is why you have to grab two sharpshooter archetype things. In my case, shocking bomb and one other. My other, of course, being water mastery, because I don't want fire mastery. Because <laughs> in my opinion, it's best to go thunder or fire, or water, not thunder or fire. Thunder or water. Where can I jewel real quick? I want to check what I need to be grinding. Is the jeweling station. Why are the Rymac bandits that are red not doing anything? <laughs> Alright, yeah, I do need gold and salmon. And here we are, back in Deathless. I'm done for now. Deathless Airbase Airship Service. What? Level 100 soldiers? Excuse me. There is. What the fuck is this? Because I've never been over in this section. Ah, of course I've never been over in this section. It's fucking in, the, in this. In the north end. Sorry, south end. Wait. Oh, it says Nasak. I'm. I'm stupid. I was thinking Nemracked. I keep getting Nasak and Nemracked mixed up in my fucking head because they both start with N. Anyway, yeah. For now, I'm done. Off stream, I'm gonna do the win. the Ragni secrets. Or I guess they're technically the wind plane secrets. And then I'm gonna grind. I'm gonna grind uh, cooking and jeweling. And then that'll be it. Yeah. 
transcribing and alchemy haven't become like something that I need to do just yet. Although I might I might try and do alchemy instead of cooking to see how making potions fares with that. Instead of making food. Anyway. 